the Biden administration is trying to impose all of this right away as fast as they can, but these are unproven technologies and completely unrealistic timelines. And because of that, these companies can't make it happen. They can say everything has to be down in 90% by 2035, but in reality, it's not gonna happen. Your green projects, where we're trying to save the planet with everything that we need to have, say, sustainable future, is turning out to not be worth it. In fact, prices on these projects are starting to spiral out of control, and companies, they're pulling the plug. And I don't blame them, right? It looks like the promised green future is anything but because it is not working out. Here are three reasons why that is the case and why what you would think in the past used to be an incredible great idea to save the planet is actually turning out to be a huge nightmare. And hey, if you're just tuning in, my name is Christopher Yule. We cover the biggest headlines of the day and what the AI trading data says about it. So if you're interested in that too, be sure to definitely hit the subscribe button down below and start trading with AI today. Head to ovtlyr.com to see why outliers win. All right, let's take a look here. Here's the first reason why green energy projects are no longer worth it, right? So they just came out today and said that they're canceling their Norway projects just after they canceled to US projects because their costs are spiraling out of control. And this person is saying that these projects are just not worth it anymore. They said that there's rising inflation, higher interest rates, and supply chain delays. They're the main causes for these switching up, for these changes here, right? While other green energy producers and stocks have found themselves in red overall this year, right? So that's the first reason why EVs are not just EVs, but green energy projects are getting shelved. Green energy projects are being put on the sidelines. The second reason that green energy projects are being put on the sidelines is that energy policy is one of the top threats to the US power grid due to the Biden administration's green agenda. I bet you didn't hear that coming, right? I bet you did not expect to hear that coming, that green energy projects are actually a threat to the power grid. How is that even the case here, right? The NRECA, said directly that the Environmental Protection Agency's proposed power plant rule aimed at reducing power plant emissions by 90% by 2035, saying that the Biden administration's plan uses unproven technologies and unrealistic compliance timelines. And this threatens electric reliability and an affordability for everyday Americans, right? So that's the second reason why these green projects are getting shelved because the Biden administration is trying to impose all of this right away as fast as they can, but these are unproven technologies and completely unrealistic timelines. And because of that, these companies can't make it happen, right? They can say everything has to be down in 90% by 2035, but in reality, it's not going to happen. It's literally not going to be able to happen in that time frame. And because of that, these companies are rejecting what the Biden administration is saying. They're rejecting actually putting these projects on the book because they can't afford to. Now, the third thing that uh, is driving these. I'm really sorry. We need some major editing on this. The third thing that's driving these these green projects down is the increasing demand for electrical power to power things like electric vehicles, decreasing generation. Let me reread that. The third problem with these green projects is the increasing demand for electricity to power things like EVs, decreasing generation due to premature closures of coal and gas fired power plants and permitting delays that prevent new infrastructure from being built and connecting to the grid. So people like me who bought a Tesla, I didn't buy it to go green. I really didn't care about going green. That's not really my thing. But I was excited because Teslas are the future. Teslas are what the standard in the automotive uh, marketplace is right now. And looking at everything else, they kind of suck in comparison to Tesla. So I was like, <clears throat> I was thinking to myself, I'm going to get the best. Why would I get anything else? But because of people like me, that's also causing problems, right? Additional power demand on the grid that... Um, these new these new green projects they can't actually handle right companies can't build these projects right now it's just not feasible so at some point people are going to have to wake up because we still need energy the biden admin can say we need to reduce the uh, emissions by 90 percent 
But in reality speak, we still need we still need energy today. And unless they find a way to still power the power plants today, it's not going to happen. Right. So let's take a look at what they the AI trading data says about Tesla. Of course, Tesla is the leader in the marketplace out there. And we got a buy point, a buy trigger, buy signal on November 6th. So about a week ago, we got a buy signal on Tesla. And in fact, if you had been following these AI stock trading returns, you'd have seen a signal return of 247.82%. Not too shabby at all. So be sure to head to obtlyr.com to see why outliers win. And you can get your hands on these AI trading signals and be one of the first people to know every single day what the AI trading data is saying. So let's go see what the internet's saying right now. Experts warn green energy projects are not worth it and prices are spiraling out of control. So this person says, there was a debate between two people on fossils versus green. What, 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 what must be understood is that green energy is an alternative, not a replacement, right? These solar farms are all over the place around me. They look awful and they're going to be a mess once the panels start breaking down. And this person says, color me surprised, right? These green energy projects, the time frame on them is unrealistic. The demands on them are unrealistic. There is no possible way that they can make these green energy projects happen. At least that's what the people who are building these projects are saying. And they're kind of the people who would be most in line to figure out if it is or isn't working. And if it does work, then they can expect to see some profits. And believe me, nobody's turning down profits when they see them on the horizon. But you know what? It's been perplexing me and I still don't understand. Why does the YouTube algorithm work this way? It tells me that one of these two videos is going to be the one that you absolutely love to watch next. So click here to watch more and we'll see you on the next episode.